At BJGP, we have just published some research on nausea and vomiting in pregnancy by Professor Roger Gadby and his team at the University of Warwick. Morning sickness is a misnomer. Vomiting in pregnancy occurs more commonly in the mornings, but can occur at any time of the day. And nausea, which many of the sufferers feel is the worst of the symptoms that they experience, can happen at any time during the 24 hour period. Tell me a little bit about how you did the work. So this work is based on a data set that was um, developed by a company that makes pregnancy testing kits and ovulation testing kits as part of their study of the effectiveness of the diagnostics that they make. They interview women and ask women to provide samples to measure hormones in pregnancy from before they become pregnant. Um, this company also asked a group of women about their pregnancy sickness symptoms. So we were able to take 256 women who'd become pregnant, who'd got information about their symptoms, about the hormone levels that showed us their day of ovulation. We also had some demographic information to show that this group of women were broadly representative of women in the UK. And we were able, um, a couple of master's students at the University of Warwick took this data set and did various statistical work on it to show the distribution of symptoms throughout a 24 hour period throughout the first seven weeks of the pregnancy. Tell me what this means for patients and for doctors. Hopefully we can persuade the general public, the media and healthcare professionals to dump this unhelpful term morning sickness. Many sufferers feel that it trivializes the condition. It also implies that anyone getting symptoms in the afternoon is unusual, which our data set shows it isn't. And it also doesn't highlight the fact that nausea, which can happen throughout the 24 hour period, is often and is the symptom is often felt by sufferers to be one of the most serious of, of the symptoms of nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. So hopefully we can get the term morning sickness put aside. It called nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. There'd be no relation to the time frame because it can happen throughout the day. And hopefully this will give a much more realistic presentation of the true importance and um, variation in this symptom complex. Today I've been talking to Professor Roger Gadsby, who's just published some wonderful research on, I shouldn't call it morning sickness, I better call it nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Roger, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.